Today we're going to be doing a uh, quadcopter parts haul. I know guys have been seeing a lot of quads, don't worry, everything else with the wheels is coming back, it's just the time of year, right? So, first off, we got some bullets, need that for the next project. Crack the next one open here. So this is all relative to a new project that I'm working on, I've been talking about for a while, I'm just waiting for a couple parts to come in. We almost got everything. So here... We have our receiver. Picked up three of these. Good deal. AR6118, if I'm not mistaken. Try to get that uh, zoomed in here. All right. Let's throw those other two aside. They're all the same. You don't need to crack those ones open. And this, to add to the collection of flight controllers. Next one for sure I had to try with this. Was this, should I say? Well, first off, got all the wiring harnesses. Break that apart so we can show you guys here. There we go. So we have three wiring harnesses. And our other ends are servo leads. Put that to the side. I need to cut open this electrostatic bag. And here we have the CC3D board. So I do have a Naze 32. And this here is another one I've been wanting to try. So this is what I'm going to be using for my next project build. You see on the other side, everything's already pre-soldered. So if you followed my other video, you've seen that I had to solder up the other nays. But this one's all done. There's our uh, connections for those wiring harnesses as well as the micro USB. So I'll throw that back on the electrostatic bag and put it to the side. And this here. Is what I'm pumped about. <laughs> All right, this looks like it's like double, triple taped. See if we can get at that without damaging. No, let's cut it open. Make it easy on us. All right, so that's off. We're into the packaging, and this is my OSD Freebird OSD. And here as well, another wiring harness. Bunch of them actually. Video feeds, GPS module, so on and so forth. Power. That'll all come with the build video, show you how to connect everything up. And here is the GPS module. It is a, a remote piece, so you can throw it uh, anywhere on uh, the rig that you plan on running. Gives you some options. Here, see if we can focus on this. This is something that you're not going to use in flight, but this is your uh, control station. So, lets you move around through your menu, set your stuff up. So, this is done uh, as in a field programmer, no need for a computer. And here is the board itself. Nice and tiny, fit well in the quad. Should have no problems tucking that in. All our connections there for all those harnesses we were looking at earlier. So that's the hull. Should have uh, the rest. We're just waiting on a couple more pieces for the build. So the next one we'll show you is the chassis and the motors. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.